Now, I'm just going to say again, just for you guys that have just arrived, while we're flying the birds, we do just ask that you stay sat nice and still and nice and quiet for us while we're flying our birds. Because some of the birds we have with us today are very, very young. Because back home where we're based, we breed a lot of the birds ourselves. It wouldn't be right for us to bring any of the wild birds into a building like this and expect them to fly. But by breeding our own birds and bringing them out from a very young age means that they grow up knowing that this kind of environment is quite safe to fly in. And so, in fact, the next bird we're bringing out is only nine weeks old. His name is Owen. And when he comes out, you'll see that he's one of Canada's largest species of owl. And he's, of course, the great horned owl. Now, as you can see, he is still very young. And if you have a look at his head there, you'll see that he's still got a lot of fluffy downy feathers there on the top of his head. And those are the feathers that these birds are born with. When they hatch out of an egg, they're covered all over in those fluffy downy feathers, and they look a bit like a giant ball of cotton wool. But those soft fluffy feathers really aren't a lot of good for flying. So as he starts to get older, he drops out those little downy feathers, and they're replaced by these lovely long adult flight feathers. Now that he's about uh, nine weeks old, he's near enough fully grown, and at a point where in the wild he'll be starting to explore around his nest and learning what his wings are for. And so, as I say, it's still very early days for uh, Owen here, but we're going to see if we can get him to do a little bit of flying for you guys. Now, you'll see that he gets very distracted and really has a good look around the room at everything that's going on. And that's because, as I say, all of this is very, very new to him. So again, we do just ask if you can stay nice and still and quiet, especially for Owen here, while he learns how to fly and focuses on what he's meant to be doing, you'll hopefully get to see him doing some nice flying. Because the trouble is otherwise, if there's a lot of noise and he gets very distracted, you'll see he'll spend a lot of time sat there looking at everything going on around him, and you really won't get to see him doing much flying at all. But you can see while it's nice and quiet, he stays pretty focused and is pretty quick and agile when he comes to flying. Imagine spending your life looking through a pair of binoculars, because that's exactly how owls see. It's great for looking at something sitting still a long way away, but anything that's right up close and in front of you is very hard to keep in focus. So when these birds take off towards a perch, as they get closer, it becomes very difficult for them to keep it in sight. So before they fly, they spend a lot of time bobbing their heads up and down and working out the distance to where they're going to land. Now, because of their quite poor eyesight, Owls make up for that by having absolutely fantastic hearing. Now, his ears are nothing to do with those lovely, long, feathery tufts on the top of his head. His ears are actually hidden away underneath the feathers on either side of his head, and they're actually set one slightly higher than the other. And that means that sound reaches him at slightly different times, and it means that he can very accurately work out exactly what direction sounds are coming from just by the noises his prey is making. But it does also, of course, mean that he gets pretty distracted pretty easily. Now, this leads us to another very interesting thing about owls, because most owls have got the ability to fly silently. Now, it's going to be very difficult to show you that in a big room like this, but we're going to ask if you guys can stay really, really quiet for us, have a good listen, and see if you can hear Owen when he flies. <whistles> Owen, we're over here. So there, as you can see, as he flaps his wings, they're totally silent. And that's really useful for an owl for a couple of different reasons. First of all, it means that he can sneak up on his dinner without it hearing him coming. But second of all, it also means because he's using his ears so much to listen out for his food, he doesn't get distracted by the sounds of his wings beating. And when you hear some of our other birds flying around today, you'll be able to really hear that difference. But Owen here has done really nicely for us today for such a young bird. So when he makes his last flight back over here to Rob, give him a nice little round of applause because he really has done very, very well for such a young bird. In your own time. Come on, Owen, this is the science of flight, not sitting on posts. 
thinking about it. There we go. So give Owen one last little round of applause there, because he has flown very, very nicely for us.